I met Rayford when I checked in the Harsh Man. And uh, I met Rayford and I met Hunchy at the same time. And it, I guess you could say it was pre-crip for them, you know. And when I met them, we were going to school together. You know, we would spend time at Nutrition, you know, up under the, uh, at Harsh Man, they had like this, uh, they had like this, uh, uh, I want to say an awning. It was like an overing. Like if it rained and it's nutrition, you could be up under it and you wouldn't get that wet. So we would be over there, me, Rayford, Kiki, uh, and all the other brothers that lived over there by his neighborhood, you know, which turned into his neighborhood. And uh, Rayford and I, we were friends, you know, from day one. And, uh, and that's, that's what I called him, you know, Rayford. And uh, Rayford, he had a big old fro. So I was like, damn, Rayford, you got a lot of hair. And then Rayford said, yeah, my hair, it don't stop growing. So we had another friend named Smokey Joe. So Smokey Joe, he had a big old fro. Kiki had a big fro at the time. I had a big fro. So all the girls really would like being around us. So they said, oh, they got our brothers with the big fro's. And, and so we'd be, we'd be tripping like that. So I remember Rayford, he had, Rayford had an older brother. I knew Rayford's older brother. Rayford's older brother was a Crip. He was a West Side Crip. And uh, so Rayford, Rayford probably wouldn't have never, you know, became a Crip until his older brother passed away. And, you know, Rayford's older brother was cool. You know, he was friends. He was friends with Bub. He was friends with uh, all the Crips that lived in that area which was, you know, Donald Archie, uh, you had Bub over there, you had uh, Big Bob. I mean, you had the heart of the West Side right there, you know, outside of the Black Crips, you know, they were hard too. Mm -hmm. And so we used to, Cody from the 9-0, but it was before you even named Streets. It was just the West Side, you know, it was us, you know. And uh, so when Rayford's brother passed away, and this happens to people, when his brother, when his brother passed away, some, he just, you know, he changed. And it, he was, I mean, when you lose a family member, it, it affects you, you know, in, in, a, in a way, you know. And I'm not saying it affected him in a negative way or in a positive way, but how else could it be? I mean, you lose your brother, you're still a kid, you know, so. Rayford started taking his crippling, you know, a little more serious after that. So his brother went to him. school with Mouse. Okay. His brother was Mouse's okay. friend. What year was Mouse born? How much older? Probably 55, right? Two years there. older than you? Yeah, probably around in there. So anyway, Rayford, so, so Rayford, he told me, he said he was going to start the set, you know, up there. So I was like, cool. I didn't know how many people he was going to get to join it. But he had already had a bunch of people that already wanted to name it. Mm -hmm. So, and this was right at the door. You know, Hillbilly and us had the meeting, you know, to break the West Side up. You know, and so the door was like already cracked open then. And these guys were younger, so, you know, they were, they were in their own, you know, their own thing. You know, so they started, they started the ETG, you know. And, and one thing I like about the ETG, you would never hear anyone say Rayford was not the founder. Mm -hmm. You would never, I don't care how tough or how bad an ETG may think he is, he won't say that. He won't say, oh, Rayford's not the founder of the ETG. No, they won't say that. Mm -hmm. they, they respect Rayford, right. you know, and Rayford deserves to be mentioned, you know, as a founder, you know, and a brother that was cool, man. He used to roll around in his little Volkswagen, you know, and, uh, so that, I liked it, you know, being with Rayford in the Volkswagen. Me, Rayford, and, and uh, Vamp, we would always be together. And uh, we would be like, you know, up at the uh, uh, beauty shop, just chilling, you know, back in the back, lifting weights and talking. Me and Smokey Joe would be in his garage, buffering iron, you know. And of course, I'd be over in the backyard with Rocky and, uh, and Hunchy's other brother, we'd be back there jamming the Congos or up at the park, you know, just having fun, man. That's how the neighborhood was over there. Or I would be with Hillbilly, you know, and Hillbilly would be always having something going on, 
you know, so I liked it to hang around him, Billy. But it was a lot of good, you know, a trays, you know, that I enjoyed being around back then. And as you know, I had two brothers that were from ETG as well, you 